Hello and welcome back. This is James Seth Lynch, and uh, this is going to be a video reply to a video by Ron Ryan Folk. Uh, so I'm dealing with two different audiences right now, and one of them has no idea how this is relevant in any way, or even know why they're watching this. So, for the people who don't know what the hell this is, please let me just cater to my uh, regular audience for a moment. This video, uh, which will be named About Racism, you can already tell this is going to be uh, kind of odd. If you're going to watch it, watch all of it. If not, just skip to the next video. This is going to be nothing concerning gameplay. This is just going to be a very mature talk. I wander into the uh, politically controversial areas of YouTube just because I like the discussion I, I I find the discussions very uh, when people talk about things like racism and feminism and things like that. It, it very it makes you think even if I don't agree what's go what's going on. But recently, uh, I got a recommendation for one of these videos off YouTube, which was basically about um, per racial segregation in terms of society and sports and how this can be beneficial and um, you can already see how this is starting to go so if you are not interested in this discussion and what I'm going I and mean, it, it just either watch it all or don't watch any of it so anyway I am that we're, I find myself in a lot of these situations where I'm on that spectrum on an issue that people say that doesn't exist. And this is for uh, racism. Basically, I will make uh, sort of generalizations on groups and cultures, but never assume these are an individual person. Uh, for an example, I would say that in the African American community, there is a lot of racial paranoia and a disturbing rise in racist opinions among African Americans uh, in recent years. But I would never assume that an African American is going to be racist or would have racial paranoia or anything like that. Uh, so you already understand that, hopefully. Now, uh... <laughs> In, in Ryan's video, he talked about how um, with uh, how it would be better if it was all black sports and all white sports, simply because the competition would be more fair due to the differences in genetics of race. Now, there are differences in genetic in, in genetics that follow um, racial uh, patterns. Uh, for example, African Americans, and I use this example far too much, I'll switch to something else later. Um, African Americans are generally more physically adept. They're more, it just, it comes more culturally than anything due to the fact that they're all descendants of slaves who were uh, raised and bred, in fact, to uh, for, for hard labor. Uh, again, I would, uh, well, anyway. And, um, uh, I, I need to go with other, uh, things just to, sh just to not touch on, uh, race, just so no one thinks I am racist here. Um, Native Americans, and I'm saying this as an Native American, uh, usually have a tendency to have problems with alcohol, such as alcohol intolerance or easy, or alcohol, uh, sensitivities, stuff like that. And, and, uh, the... But the Esk Eskimos and Samoa, you can already just see, I don't really have to go into it, that there are certain uh, fundamental traits to do with each race. Like the, I believe there's Samoans, maybe. The, uh, the race usually chosen to be uh, sumo wrestlers. Very, very tall, very, very big in build. And I've all, I've been straying away from Caucasians just because they're a very, very mixed bag. But basically, there are uh, genetic uh, 
patterns when it comes to each race, and that's because uh, they all draw from the same genetic well, which is why they all have the same color of skin. So, yeah, everyone has their different genetic traits. So, does any of... So, what... What does this matter? Who cares? People are different. I, as a person, a, a Native, I'm Native American, like I said, I have... Uh, I'm alcohol intolerant. Uh... I drink alcohol, I double over in pain, and I get drunk very quickly. I also have um, uh, a very high healing factor. I actually can't even get scars, they'll just go away. And my blood clots faster, I have a very high IQ. Do any of these traits make me better than anyone else? No. Everyone has their own traits. Everyone's unique. Every some people are stronger, some people are smarter. Some people just are better at certain things. It's diversity. So, tell me. Uh, let, let's, look at, let, let's look at what uh, my genetic traits would uh, give me an advantage in. And that's, uh, as far as I can tell, something having to do with science or heavy combat, as I'm statistically more likely to survive a non-lethal injury. Uh, so, due to these traits, if I was in that field, should I uh, have something... Should, should I be held back in some way so that the people that don't have these traits have uh, a fair chance and it, if you think that you're too stupid to live if you think if you think that I should be limited for my own genetic um, advantages and that anyone should be li li limited for their own genetic advantages everyone's different okay and this guy, what really made me upset, is he said, uh, in my opinion, there, there's a lot of things that people have been basically brainwashed into, uh, it, it, it brainwashed into thinking that thinking that way is bad. Uh, thinking this thing is bad. Talking about this thing is bad. I won't get into what those specific issues are, but he... Uh, painted race, racial opinions as one of these topics that people have been brainwashed into simply thinking is bad, and that it's ah, it's not true. It, racism is bad. It's simply bad. Okay, and this is a guy <laughs> that it, it it just ah, and and something that really really has been pissing me off with this guy's videos is that uh, either it's just uh, you can see him talking or it's still shots or changing images of anime girls and they're like weird foot fetish material or another one it's a girl with a knife through her hand yeah yeah, yeah nice nice like uh, us anime fans have don't have enough that is giving us a bad rep among everyone else this I'm okay with diverse diversity of opinion. I like it. That's why I go to places on YouTube like this. Because I want to hear people's opinions. It's intellectually it's stimulating. It makes you think, even if you don't agree. But this stuff is just so unbelievably wrong on so many levels. Ugh. And I don't even know if I've if I even got to talking about all the points I wanted to talk about in this video. But yeah, Ryan Folk. Uh, oh no 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 no. There's one thing I forgot. He even puts raci racially derogatory slurs into the titles of his videos. This this guy just 
Ah. Oh. <laughs> it. I just have that. That I just needed to vent my fr my frustration, and I needed to state my opinion on how this guy is just frankly wrong. Yes, race is. Uh, race is more than just the color of your skin. You. There will be other similarities and pros and cons that you can find in their genetic mix. But that still doesn't justify racial prejudice and just ra and this whole racial segregation. No, 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 no. <laughs> that will result in all kinds of hell. It will not result in anything good. It's simply human nature. When you alienate people from each other, they begin to hate each other and want to kill each other. That's how racism starts. Okay? Okay. Now that that's done, I will see you guys in the next episode. And I will probably... there. You will probably see a video from Ryan Folk, which will say James Seth Lynch is... Uh, some sort of racial derogatory slur against Native Americans, probably a red or something. Uh, and again, about uh, the intolerance again with alcohol. Yeah, that that is a that that is a real thing. Native Americans do have problems with alcohol. I it it is because of my uh, it is because of my limit my lineage. If I drink even a small amount, I will get drunk, and then I will double over in pain a few minutes later. It basically, well, people say alcohol is poison. It's really, really poison yeah, in my body. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.